What's up? Welcome back to Dude Dad. Today, we're gonna build a chicken coop. All right, so this is the Anna White chicken coop. The plans are available online. I'll refer you to them in the description so you can sort of check those out and follow along. Uh, but this whole project only costs about 250 clucks. Chicken humor. All right, so you're gonna start with the bottom frame, which I made out of four by fours. I made these three foot tall, so they're the exact right height to wrap the chicken wire around the bottom if you decide to keep it self-contained. Um, around the top, I used two by sixes. The plans call for two by eights, but that just felt like way more than it needed, so I just went with two by sixes. Also, this middle beam in here, I doubled it up. Uh, I believe they tried to do it on one board, but I doubled it up just to make it a little bit easier to nail. Now these floor supports, uh, you offset them three quarters of an inch so that the plywood will meet up flush with the two by six base. Once you set the base in place, make sure you level the ground and put all four corners on some blocks so the wood doesn't rot out really fast. Now what I love about these plants is that the two big sidewalls with the gables can actually be cut out of one sheet of plywood. So there's hardly any waste at all. Just line those bad boys up and snap them on. So the original plans that you'll find online make a coop that's big enough for three hens. I wanted our coop to be just a little bit bigger, so I extended just one dimension of it by about 10 inches, and I'll show you how I did that. All I did was these boards right here that go between the two sidewalls, I just increased the length of all of those by 10 inches. That just made the coop that much bigger. But you can just build this top support piece, which also is like the roosting area, and you just snap that in between. Now these gable boards are actually on the plan, supposed to be on the inside, but I thought it'd be cool to bring them on the outside to just give the coop more dimension. Using half inch plywood to just sort of sheet the top. I'm using a lot of scraps, so I'm just piecing things together as I find them. Brace it up and I'm using one by threes for the trim around the corners. So I sort of just trimmed it all out and then cut my doors to fit and hinge those in. Now I felt like the coop had a little bit of wobble because they're, the sidewalls are both doors. I added these little 45 degree braces on the clean out doors and that sort of helped sturdy it up. Couple of hinges, add the doors in with the catch on one side. And then when you get to the chicken boxes, there's lots of different ways you can do those. I just sort of separated it out into three equal boxes. One thing to remember is make sure that you actually cut your windows out beforehand. I did it afterwards and it's way harder to cut up here than it is down here. To trim out the doors and the windows, I used one by two. Just stapled it all into place. A little bit of chicken wire in the window. And then to do all these one by two trim pieces, I basically just did the one down the center, I did the one down each side of the house, and then just measured to the middle between each of those. I sort of went next level with this thing and put some nice asphalt shingles on it as well. And I just used my stapler to put these in. There's not that much surface space. I didn't want huge nails sticking through the sheeting. They're all gonna seal up together and we don't get a lot of wind, so I think it'll be just fine. To cap off the shingles, I just cut a show portion of the shingle off and uh, use that to just lay it over the top corner. Now just a little bit of paint and a fancy door. I made the door out of plywood and then just drew some lines on it to make it look like a slotted door. I used some metal grates that I found in the sort of concrete area of Home Depot. I also made these removable so that you could take them out and hose them off when you need to. All right, so this whole bottom section here is meant to have chicken wire on it so that basically the underneath section is the pen for the hens. But I knew that we were gonna have this fence out here, so we didn't put the wire down there, but I still wanted to keep the design like that so that we have the ability to sort of change it back to that at a later date if we need to. So also in the plans, this section is actually supposed to be a planter, but instead I turned it into a little chicken deck. So I put the door here so the chickens actually come out this way, and then they have their walk down uh, stairs right here. But what I did with these stairs is I actually hinged them so that you can pin them up like that, and now you can easily stick a rake under here and clean out all the birdie doo doo, as you do do. And that is how you build the Anna White chicken coop. Uh, I did do a few things out of order, kind of a chicken pour the egg kind of a thing, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty excellent. So chicken scratch that one off the list. I honestly don't even know how to raise chickens, but I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs>
There's so much room in here, they could set up a, a big screen TV here and watch chick flicks. What do you call it when a chicken lays an egg on top of a roof? An egg roll. <laughs> Why do chicken coops only have two doors? Because if it had four, it'd be a chicken sedan. <laughs>